the island of Toas, in the lake of Maracaibo, in northwest Venezuela, was once a tourist destination. Now its residents are struggling, and so people like Jesus Espina are trying to help out. We went with him to Yeseni Gonzalez's house. Her brother Jorger is 33. He's autistic. He's also undernourished. This will be his only meal today. I need help. He has no bed to sleep. We have no diapers. His situation is getting worse every day. Nobody helps us. He's been losing weight and we can barely feed our family. What complicates the situation even more is that Jorger has a problem in his throat, but there are no doctors to diagnose him. Jesus says there are many cases like his around the island, and even though he's trying to lend a hand, it's not been easy. I don't have much, but I started to ask people to give me just one spoon of rice to feed them. Times are difficult for everyone. Nobody has much food to give away. Those who take care of their relatives with disabilities are suffering and cannot give much. Jesus is also helping out at least eight others on this island of around 10,000 people. Many have already migrated somewhere else because of food and medicine shortages. We're told the water sanitation plant is broken and there is no gas or electricity. We went to the house of my Kelly Chassin, a mother of five. She has no money to buy her children clothes or diapers. Even though her husband works as a fisherman, she says they barely have enough to eat. People here are desperate. They don't have running water, they don't have gas, and this is the only food they have for the whole family. The situation is so dire that they were forced to sell this window in order to be able to buy medicines for the children. Michaeli says all government help has been gone for months. The Venezuelan government sells boxes of subsidized food, but they're not arriving fast enough. The little food we have is because we were given one government box last week after six months. The government is gone and if they have something, they give it to people that vote for them. We don't vote because we don't have an ID. Economists say the crisis in Venezuela is caused by a drop in oil prices, corruption and mismanagement of government resources. It's the first crisis that lasts so long in an oil-producing nation. It's the first oil nation with hyperinflation. And it's the biggest collapse of an economy in a country that did not go to war. The impoverishment in the country is brutal. Now, with an increase in U.S. sanctions, many fear the situation will deteriorate even more. On Saturday, President Nicolás Maduro led a protest against the United States the sanctions implemented by Donald Trump and opposition leader Juan Guaidó. All of this meanness, all of this brutality has been requested and openly supported by this despicable outlaw, traitor to the homeland, named Juan Guaidó. But in the island of Toas, most people say the crisis began before the US sanctions. They're desperately waiting for a solution that will help them survive. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Toas Island, Venezuela.